uh, OX66 250 Yamaha has zincs inside the power head that keeps the power head block from rotting out and unfortunately nobody seems to change them uh, so by the time I get to them or anybody gets to them they're hard to get out there's a little tab on them you're supposed to pull it out of the engine it like never works maybe when it's brand new so you take a self tapping it's like a sheetrock screw screw it in there Take a pair of wire cutters, take it out. Just so you know, this zinc is supposed to be out to here. It's supposed to look like that. Open it up. It's supposed to look like that, so. So very important. Probably should be changed every couple of years, or at least inspected. So we're just completing a OX66, 250 horsepower, 2001 EFI and Yamaha. And we're about to put the uh, powerhead zincs in the power end to keep it from corroding. So a quick, very quick, brief explanation of electrolysis, which the real word is galvanic corrosion is when there's two dissimilar metals on the galvanic scale in electrical light and uh, salt water is an excellent electrolyte and uh, fresh water is also an electrolyte not as bad uh, you will cause corrosion because they have different charges and metal will actually be removed by a corrosion from the metal so what they do is they put zincs in uh, and they're called zincs because often they're made out of zinc they could be made out of magnesium or aluminum as well. Um, basically, they're a sacrificial anode. On powerheads, they're probably one of the most neglected thing on a modern powerhead. Uh, they're very infrequently changed. If, they're, if your service provider's changing them for you or suggesting it, you've got a good guy. He's trying to make the motor run for a while. Um, Sometimes, sometimes electronics, this, this thing's pretty bare, so stuff is off, but there's actually a fuel filter that goes here. You'd have to take it off. Not a big deal. Um, the thing about electrolysis in zincs, anodes, is it has to have a good contact for them to work. And these are true of the ones underneath the trim tab and everything else, but. So if you just put it in there and you don't clean off the corrosion and the paint, I've already done it with a, I just took a flathead screwdriver, cleaned it out, scraped it out like this. Make sure you have good contact. So this is your sacrificial anode. This one happens to be made out of zinc. And it goes in there. And that fits right there. And then you put the seal in, which has a little spot that receives that little X or square. And you bolt it in. And that's it. Tighten that up and you're all set. So, the obvious reason to do it, it keeps the power head from rotting out. It's a sacrificial anode since it's it's got as low on the galvanic scale. It'll corrode before the aluminum whip because it has a much different rating. Another reason you change it is when you take it out, you can inspect it. If they're in great shape, you could conceivably put them back, but you also know, uh, well, my motor's running well. I don't have any stray current because an additional stray current from any ignition components or charging components on a motor can also cause excessive corrosion, which will kill the motor quickly. So you know you might have a problem where you can look, which was sometimes I like to call a tell, like in poker, a tell. So it's a good thing to inspect. It's a lot like inspecting spark plugs. So... If somebody's telling you, oh, I don't do that, well, 
Even if you just look at them, take them out and look at them, you're doing something good. They're, I don't remember the cost, but they're not that expensive. Little bit of labor to get at them. You gotta know where they are. This one has four, one on each cylinder head, actually five and two on the starboard side and one on the port side. So keeps the thing from corroding. Believe me, as remanufacturers, we know corrosion is a killer of outboards and it's something we can't fix. So that's a quick and dirty on corrosion.